help you with something? Yeah, I'm asking what's going on over here. Okay. Any we got calls. Is any of this yours? We got a call about what? We got a call a lot about of stuff on private property. In the age of the internet, police interactions with the public are becoming more scrutinized than ever before. Thanks to the ubiquity of smartphones and the power of social media, incidents that would have once gone unnoticed are now exposed for the world to see. One such incident occurred when a man was approached by two police officers who were called to investigate a supposed trespasser on private property. The man began filming the interaction and questioning the officers about their reason for being there. He asked for the identity of the person who called them and what specifically they were investigating. The officers mentioned that they received a call from the property owners, a car lot, reporting that there were trespassers on the premises. The man, however, argued that he did not see any no trespassing signs and that he and his brother were not breaking any laws. As the situation escalated, the man became increasingly agitated, refusing to comply with the officer's demands. The officers, in turn, threatened to arrest him if he didn't leave the premises. Despite their warnings, the man stood his ground, demanding to know the basis of their claim. Call from who? The property owners are calling. Who's the property owner? The car lots. The car lots? Yeah. What do you mean, the car lots? Your stuff, sir? Who called? I just told you who called. The car lots? Yes. So how do you know who called about what private property? Well, the fact that it says no trespassing right there, multiple signs. Yeah, right and? There, right so we there, got a call right about there. it, so we're just checking it out. About what, though? Trespassers. Whatever property okay. this is. So what, what's the deal? What's going on right now? Then? See all, this, well, all these out. things here? It's not supposed to be here. Okay. So what's going on with it now? That's what we're trying to figure out. We just out. told you. There you didn't tell can... me. What do you mean? I just told you. Is there anything we can We got called with? for this stuff. I'm just asking what's going on, man. What's your name and badge number? My name's Officer Hall, ED51. What's yours? Officer Austin, 15058. And who is that? Is that an outreach out here that's cleaning up? No, it's some of the that rides with us. That just does rides with you guys. Okay. So is what's the deal? Is stuff, sir? I'm not answering any of that. Okay. Well, okay. we don't need to talk to you anymore. Then. then cool. You don't have to talk to me. Okay. Have a good day. Yeah, you have a good day too. You can... Well, you're on private property right now. Yeah, you're not the power of attorney. You're not the power of attorney. Yeah, I'm not. I, step what? If I stay right here, what? I've what you gonna you. do? If what you, you gonna leave, do? If you don't leave, if I don't leave, what? You're gonna be arrested. I'm gonna be arrested for what? Trespassing. How? How is that possible when I've never even been talked to for nobody? We just spoke to somebody that. I, I don't give. A a you spoke with. I went over there and got gas in my vehicle and walked over here. I ain't got talked to nobody. Nobody told me you can't go solicit nothing to a random ass person. We so I ain't broke no law. We so your little cop guys. swinging ain't we me. Every I don't give a what you called for. I don't give a what your call know. is. I don't you. give a what your call was. I don't give a what you got to say because nothing's illegal right now. So you talking out of your ass. But you seem to disagree. You're goddamn right because I'm spitting law. Law. And you're law enforcement, so you better listen up. Okay. Well, Follow the goddamn law. So if you don't want to leave, then you'll be arrested for trespass. But for what? Who's the complainant? Who told me to leave? Who asked me to leave? Exactly. The person that's renting this. Property. It doesn't matter. The person never come and talked to me. They don't he talked to you, and you went over there and solicited what from a random person that I came from the gas station. Anything, sir. Yeah, you did. I got you on film just saying I just came from over there talking to the owner. That's soliciting a trespass. He called us here, sir. It doesn't matter. Did somebody talk to I me? Ask him. Did anybody him. talk to me? Yes or no? Yes. I Besides your ass, did anybody sir. talk to me? No, so there's no complainant. There's no somebody telling me to leave. So in your little report you're about to write up, ain't. If you say so. You're goddamn right. I'm gonna say so. You leave if you don't want to be arrested. No, you do what you're gonna do then. You want to legally arrest me? Or do what you're gonna do. Okay. Sounds good. I know discovery. I know my goddamn. Okay, sir. Right on. Dang, where's your probable cause? Where's the complainant? You went over here and coerced what? Who talked to me? That you're gonna have to answer in court. Yeah, dead ass for real. I understand. You're gonna have to answer that. What's the elements of the crime? I'll ask you all that. Understand? You want to me over? Go ahead, sir. Because apparently you don't know the elements to the goddamn crime of trespassing or any of that. If you say so. You're goddamn right. I say so, and I'm, what I'm saying is right and lawful. Ain't nobody talked to me. I'm with my brother. I went and get gas. I seen you over here, around, so I came over here. Ain't nobody talked to me. Ain't nobody said me.
Ain't nobody told me to leave. I know how that complainting works. I know how trespassing works. You're supposed to get told to leave, then you leave. If you refuse, then you're fucking arrested. Ain't nobody told me to leave. You ain't the power of attorney over this place. You can't tell me to leave. Sir, did you see me talking to that person? I don't give a who you were talking to. That's the thing. It doesn't matter who the you talk to. Okay. Did anybody talk to me? No. So how are you trying to tell me I'm trespassed when nobody talked to me and asked me to leave? That's the elements to the damn crime, bud. And you're damn right I can walk up and film your part. Maybe you should learn CAD down or some sh Learn the elements to the you're coming out. Stop trying to coerce bull Ain't nobody said to me. Nothing. Nada. So I dare you to up, bro. Your dead ass will be on the stand answering these same questions for real then in depositions on their litigation so that's on you bud depositions and litigations after it's dropped after you you look like a fool out here trying to arrest people for no reason because i got a call I give a about your call ain't nobody talk to me Yep, he over here saying the same thing. He just talked to the owner over here. Have a good day, sir. Yeah, you get out of here. With people and stuff their day up. Piece of. This guy just went over there and talked to him too. Solicited another. Shit. Both of these guys out here soliciting trespasses and shit. Don't even know the elements of the goddamn crime they over here trying to arrest people for. Fucking up the vehicles. In today's world, it is important to be aware of your rights and to exercise them when necessary. This is particularly true when dealing with law enforcement officers who may not always have the best intentions. As the man in the video showed, it is possible to protect yourself and your rights by knowing the law and standing up for yourself. One of the best ways to exercise your rights is to remain calm and respectful when interacting with the police. You can politely ask for their name and badge number and ask them to explain their reason for questioning you. If they ask to search your belongings, you have the right to refuse unless they have a warrant or probable cause. Remember, you have the right to remain silent and to speak with an attorney if you are being detained or arrested. During police interactions, it is important for both civilians and police officers to remain calm and respectful. Civilians may feel scared, angry, or upset during these interactions, especially if they believe that their rights are being violated. However, responding with aggression or hostility can escalate the situation and make things worse. One of the best ways to remain calm and respectful during police interactions is to remember that police officers are also human beings and they are just trying to do their job. Civilians should speak politely and calmly and avoid using threatening language or behavior. Civilians should also be aware of their rights during police interactions. This can help them to protect themselves and ensure that their rights are not being violated. For example, civilians have the right to film police officers in public spaces as long as they do not interfere with the officer's work. This can be a powerful tool for holding police officers accountable and ensuring that they are behaving appropriately. Civilians also have the right to refuse to answer questions from police officers, although this can sometimes lead to more confrontational interactions. It is important to remember that while civilians have rights during police interactions, they also have responsibilities. For example, if a police officer has a probable cause that a crime has been committed and asks for identification, Civilians should comply with this request. Police officers also have a responsibility to respect the rights of civilians during interactions. This includes being clear and transparent about the reasons for the interaction and providing civilians with any necessary information. Officers should also avoid using aggressive or threatening language or behavior, as this can escalate the situation and make things worse for everyone involved. When interacting with civilians, police officers should remember that they have a position of power and authority. It is important to use this power responsibly and avoid abusing it. 
By treating civilians with respect and professionalism, police officers can help to build trust and establish positive relationships with the communities they serve. In conclusion, police interactions can be tense and challenging, but they are an important part of maintaining public safety and order. By understanding their rights and responsibilities, both police officers and civilians can help to ensure that these interactions are conducted in a respectful and peaceful manner. It is important for civilians to remain calm and respectful during police interactions and to know their rights. Police officers should also respect the rights of civilians and use their position of authority responsibly. By working together, civilians and police officers can help to create safer and more peaceful communities. What do you think about the actions of the officers? Let me know in the comments and be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos. Go over to his channel and appreciate him for standing up for our rights. Links in the description.